You're watching Two News Works for You in High Definition. The blizzard of 2011 takes aim on green country. Tonight, live team coverage as a deep chill sets in. Good evening, I'm Karen Larson. And I'm Russ McCaskey. We're glad you're with us. Roads are nearly impossible to drive on. Those who try end up stuck. The massive amount of snow is now responsible for a second straight day of school closings and businesses shut down. We want to get an update on conditions right now in green country. Let's go to our chief meteorologist, Dan Threlkeld. He's tracking the drop in temperatures, Dan. Russ, Karen, first of all, across parts of Green Country, the storm system has finally pulled out. That is step one. It'll cause major problems in areas to the east and northeast of us. But we've got problems of our own with those temperatures continuing to fall. Right now, we've got temperatures in the low teens. And very, in the next hour, they'll be going to be down in the single digits. Now, you add on those gusty winds out there that are up around 15 to 20 miles per hour, and you have got wind chills now as cold as minus 6. That's what it feels like. Bristow at minus is six, and because of that, we have got a wind chill warning in effect for counties to the north of uh, Tulsa along the Oklahoma Kansas border. And we're looking at some serious concerns. In fact, the possibility of wind chills of minus 10 or even colder, possibility for frostbite, and with the exposure for long periods of time, even hypothermia is going to be possible with these dangerous temperatures. We hope you don't have to go out, but if you do, certainly dress for a worst case scenario. It is cold out there. These gusty north northerly winds will finally start to die down some for tomorrow. The sun will be out, but we're still looking at very, very cold temperatures. Coming up in weather, we'll talk about air temperatures, guys, that will actually drop down below zero. And unfortunately, there is another winter storm that's going to be moving in. I'll show you that on the seven-day forecast. All that's coming up in minutes.